My name is Junior Roberts, and I help CXC students master the fundamentals of physics, acquire high scores, and excel in their respective fields. If you wish to learn more about uh, my program offerings, you can send an email to junior at realjuniorroberts.com and also stop by my website realjuniorroberts.com and pick up my absolutely free download which I'm giving away to you absolutely free. So I know you might have uh, been seeing the image going around on Facebook with the four uh, tanks right and now uh, the question was you know which one of the tanks will be full filled first so if you haven't seen it I'll uh, post a picture of it in this video so you can actually see it so in this video what I wanted to do was to actually you know do a test <coughs> an actual real life test to find out what will happen uh, when we set up something like we have seen in the image. Now I know physics um, is you know quite an, an, an interesting subject, right? Um, the phenomenons and all that of physics is really interesting. I won't spend much time you know and, and, and talk much about that. But uh, my intention in this video is to just uh, encourage more students to uh, consider learning physics, and maybe they can uh, use that knowledge to to solve some of our world problems so i'm just gonna head into the setup and I'll actually show you what happens when i when i do this test no i haven't done this test as yet so i'm not sure what will happen but while i um show you the setup i will um you know give my uh predict prediction okay so this is the setup of this test so you can see we have um the four um containers so this is container 1, container 2, container 3, container 4. And I've set them up um, as best as I, I could based on the image online. And I also have um, a water source at, top, at the top. So I'm going to just show you that at the top. Right, so that is the water supply here. That will be supplying the water into container 1. And then we will see what happens. So let me set this back <coughs> and then start <coughs> running the water. Let me set this straight. Alright, so I'm going to start the water now. The water is all mixed with food coloring, blue food, food coloring, just so we can see how the water moves through the container. So I'm going to start it now. So it's starting and container one is starting to full. Container two is now fulling up and um, I've tried as best as I could to ensure that uh, the water is a constant stream so container 3 starts to full just as container 2 uh, reaches the water in container 2 reaches above the that of the where the hole is And we're on to container 3 and we're seeing that both columns so container 3 and that tube between container 3 and container 4 seems to be falling at the same rate now it will be interesting to see what will happen when both both water level that in container 3 and that in the tube reaches that point where there is a hole at container 4 so it's slowly filling up and as again and again as I said it's a constant stream from the water supply 
because I, I just try to ensure that I'm, I kept uh, everything or as much things as possible constant so constant temperature constant pressure and the stream is constant and again if you wish to learn more about uh, my uh, training my program for physics if you're studying physics you can send an email to junior at real junior roberts dot com and I'm also giving away I'm a free downloadable PDF on my website so we're almost to the top so let's see what happens so it's slowly moving over into container 4 while it seems as if container 3 is <coughs> Seems like it's slowly rising, container 3 is slowly rising. And then as soon as container 4 starts to fall, the water in container 3 seems as if it's no longer moving. Or it seems like seems as if it's moving really slow from what I'm looking at. But container 4 is starting to, to fill up. So this was really um, uh, this is really um, uh, an interesting interesting um, test. So <laughs> let's see what what happens. So it seems like container three is slowly filling up. But you know what I didn't remember to do was to give my uh, prediction of what I think will happen. But nevertheless, let's continue seeing what happens. And you see, this is uh, primarily why, primarily one of the reasons. Oh, I'm seeing a leak. I'm seeing a leak. I'm seeing a leak. Mm. Oh boy, that was one thing I was really open that will not happen and that is there's a leak mm. yes there's a leak right there there's just a leak right there but let's let's just continue watching and see see what will happen so that in continent we stopped <laughs> Right, and container 4 is coming up. So let's see what happens now. So the water in 3 is slowly rising. And the container 4 seems as if it's rising as well, but container 3 seems to have um, a, a slight edge. So 3 looks as if it has a slight edge. But three seems as if it's not moving much, while four seems as if it's coming close to behind three. So three looks as if it will fill first, or will fall first. So they are slowly moving. And the three looks as if it will be the one that falls first. 
because it's almost full so I think we can call it right here so it seems as if container 3 falls first I won't let it run over I'll just give it some more and then just stop it right here okay so this is the test <laughs> this is the test and it seems as if container 3 is the one that will be filled first which is quite interesting right so again this is Junior Roberts from realjuniorroberts.com uh, thank you for watching